those guys need to be careful out here. You do need to be careful for sure. Because if if this was wine wine out Thursdays and you was wind up and you was at the club, you could have right. said, "Yeah, I got still- me." Oh, right, right. <laughs> you can say, "I got me one now." <laughs> Man, you, did you know with 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 ladies, I give them the bitter feel of the doubt, Brandon. Yeah, uh huh. And I saw this lady right here on the well, excuse. Me. I saw this person right here on damn YouTube uh-huh. last week, and okay. I was listening to like a, a panel. And you you know when guys look at stuff, you kind of like get. I put stories behind people. Mm-hmm. And I saw this person right here. I said, this person must be a. She's a woman, but she look kind of different. She must be from <laughs> Africa and run cross country. <laughs> I, I get I get that. Okay, but because her jawline was kind of strong, I said, you know, yeah. tracks women track stars sometimes they have strong Stronger jawline bone, bone structure. Yeah, sure. I got but you. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Turned so, to find out, it was a damn man. Mm. So, <laughs> but that's that's very tricky. Like if you show me, like you show me this picture, I was like, oh, okay. I wonder what this woman is up to, or what, you know, what we're getting ready to talk about. But okay, yeah. The, if I saw that one, <laughs> I feel I look at that makeup. But like I said, we're not trying to judge or anything like that. But it's very tricky out here in these streets, you know, for a single man and you know dating, because some people feel like they don't need to tell you. Look at that arm. You know, I'm I'm a thin brother. My arms aren't that big. You know. No, see, but see, uh, how they showed her, they they they, I say hurt, but you know what they showed, you only saw this. And the reason I brought this up, Omar uh, Umar Johnson was Uh on a panel, and he was debating uh, about Black America, and the two topics was about man and female. Mm -hmm. So before you before you continue, are you talking about the one with Cynthia G? Because I've been meaning to ask you about her. Okay, go ahead. Yes. And he didn't know, you know, because you treat you you supposed to treat women with more respect. Oh, so she was on that panel too. Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. And Omar, so she- <laughs> and Omar was talking Omar. about my queen sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let me listen to you. And she was going against the black male, right? Because I you, remember she- listening. I didn't see. You know how you? Li- well, I got YouTube Premium, so I listen to to it when I'm doing work or whatever else. I didn't really see who was on the panel or see her on the panel. So she was on there. She, that's she was on there. But I knew and, it was two women arguing against Umar Johnson and another man. And she was allegedly one of the search, um, one of the women. Yeah, and she so she so she was bashing black men <laughs> about running away <laughs> for your duties. <laughs> that is you very interesting. Right. See, so imagine right. if Umar knew all that side information at the beginning. Right. right. That he was talking to a man. Well, uh, <laughs> Somebody he was transitioning. talking to a person, a person in transition in their life. Imagine right. what would be his response. Right. And, and, not, and not to mention, I wonder how Cynthia G feels because she's one of the people who put out there, we need to exterminate all black men or the black babies or however she puts it. And she was on the side with somebody who used to be a black man. I guess you, it's okay if you used to be a black man. If you switch to a female, now you're okay. Even though you might have started as a male. But she was talking bad about uh, guys. Right. She like was. Guys. She was both now, I thought this person right here, this, this yeah, is yeah. what we're looking at. Uh, person right there. She was talking bad about guys, but it's but we had a conversation. Now, you should tell what gender. Well, you should tell what chromosome you are if you about right. to be in a sexual relationship, right, Brian? I think I think so. It would be helpful. But how about if you in a debate versus <laughs> genders? Should you expose what chromosomes well, are you in that kind of? I don't, I don't know, but it, I guess you you wouldn't give your opponent, you know, ammunition like that in a debate. But if you're going against somebody, you should definitely do some research on them so you can kind of figure out who you're really talking to. And I know Umar, he he has his spiel and he knows he's going to say anyway. And he's got data that he pulls from. So he didn't even really need to pull out that she used to be a man or, or whatever to win the argument in my eyes. I think he won anyway. But Brandon, don't you talk to you as a guy born and raised in South Carolina? Mm-hmm. Don't you talk to ladies different than you talk to a guy? You do, you do. <laughs> but let me ask you this: so, <laughs> should, 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 <laughs> so should we talk to her differently? Like, I would, I would conversate with her or converse with her as who she is right there and who she wants to be, and that's a female. And that, and that brings up another question: like, you know, if me and that person got in an altercation. I'm not gonna be able to hit her because well, she identifies as a as a female. What you mean you ain't gonna be? I, I bet I bet this person to hit you. Well, that's that's just the that's what it be. I just be on the side of the street, laid out. Oh wow! I bet this person, I bet this person to hit you. 
Yeah. But Brandy, man, like you said in the earlier videos, guys need to be careful out here. You do need to be careful for sure. Because if if this was wine, wine out Thursdays and you was wind up and you was at the club, you could have right, said, "Yeah, I got step. me." Oh, right, right. <laughs> you say, "I got me one now." But that's but that's what I'm saying. Is that fair? Is that fair? I'm just. This how she look. This how she look on the panel. Don't she look like a yeah, she, a, a woman with African descent that run, yeah, ran track yeah. at one point? Right. Yeah, she does. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think that person right there used to be a man. You know, she uh, she had voices a little deeper. I said, "Damn, sometimes girls who run track voices are deeper." Right, <laughs> but, you, but but that's just it's just so tough to navigate. Like, man, we got to get some single guys to comment and tell us how they feel or some experience they've had out there. Because I know it's people encountering these situations, so it'd just be interesting to see somebody else have they. But would you think guys would be honest? Like, if you had if you were talking to a woman and she was a man, would you tell would you tell somebody? Wait, hold on. Which was it? No, okay. If I was talking to, okay, say it again, Brandon. If you were you met somebody out, and you like you started liking them, and y'all were talking, texting back and forth, and you know going out on dates, didn't do anything past that, but then she was like, "Look, I used Person, to be a man." No, time out. I gotta cut you off. <laughs> time you said going out on dates. That means I'm putting up capital. Yeah. So I ain't putting up no capital to a damn lot. <laughs> Why, uh, not? Why not? I ain't like these boys out here. You know, okay. hey, like these boys out here, uh, they, uh, they call them up. This is my meal plan. Call them up, get a free meal. Uh uh, ain't like that. Okay, so how do you feel about that? Like, so men shouldn't be taking uh, women out on dates. I've, I mean, I've heard that uh, rhetoric before, on especially on YouTube. They should be taking out people who are they uh, wants to get both on wants to get to know each other. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe she wanted to get to know you. No, she but wanted she to get to know that damn menu. Which one? I'm talking about her or we talking about? <laughs> yeah, but she. Yeah, but her. Let's let's stick with her just because you know what. But she might just want to get to know you. But she's gonna be telling you the secret later on. She supposed to say that on day one. <laughs> just like, just like, watch this. We gonna talk about this too. I didn't know we gonna talk about this. Hold on, bro. She supposed to say that on day one. Just like, can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh huh. Just like if before you have sex with a person, you got HIV, you're supposed to tell them, I got <laughs> HIV. Do you want to have sex with but, me? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the law, ain't it? <laughs> that's that the is, law. So the, they don't, the trans they people need to do the same damn thing. <laughs> wait, hey, wait, talk about. I got X and Y chromosome. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to continue? Yes. That's no. what I'm saying. Yes. When 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 the topic of sex come up, then we start. We can break it up, right? No. Ah, this is, <laughs> I'm from the old school. Something called courting. Courting comes way before sex. So okay. you you court somebody, you smile, flirt. And we one gotta point, let them know then. <laughs> no, at one point in the beginning stages, before capital is explored, mm -hmm. before a lot of time is taken out, you gotta say, I got an XY or I got an XS chromosome. <laughs> Do you want to continue with the situation? <laughs> yeah, and I think that's fair. That's not asking a lot either, right? That's not, not really. But you gotta make sure both of y'all going try to get to the same destination because one right. person may just like the company and they don't want to do nothing right and we we've had conversations about like you've seen a woman but she kind of can favor a man too and you're not really sure so wouldn't if it was something up in the air you would want to clear that up right then you can kind of tell when somebody doesn't know the gender of somebody well watch this if now i could be friends with this person right 100 mm -hmm. friends with them I'm not in that type of relationship, so I really don't care right. what what gender. Unless we get in the fight, if some dudes come up fight, you a dude, we all got to fight. <laughs> right. Let me be quiet. I'm about to get off of that. <laughs> but I don't care what gender you are. I can still be cordial with you. I still could be friends with her. Right. See, remember this audience. I didn't say nothing hateful today. Right. I just said if y'all gonna get in this type of try to get that type of relationship. Let somebody know what it is at the beginning. And you remember that football player ended up killing somebody because he they were having sex and he didn't know it was a transgender person. I think they met on a, you know a social dating website, ended up killing the person and then got off. You remember that story? You ain't talking about no, I don't remember that story. Yeah, I will have to look it up. We'll try to pull it up later. But yeah, I guess and the court saw it his way. Like, you know, he thought he was having sex with a woman but end up it was a man and when he found out he lost control and ended up beating the person to death he went to how, jail hmm? how long it took him to find out he was having sex i don't i can't remember they, but they had you know, they, they was having intercourse for for a couple maybe twice maybe i think but and the person still had a penis <laughs> yes 
So you telling me this, <laughs> right? But no, but he was so, getting, no, I, he was I, getting I, fellatio. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay, that's that's it. You say yeah. intercourse. Well, they was getting he was getting some head. All right, so they wasn't having intercourse yet. So that don't count. That don't count as okay. Technically, Brandon, all I'm saying, I don't know, I don't know <laughs> other guys' methodology or body. Mm-hmm. But your nuts very close to your asshole, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, or 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 a vagina will be where a guy's nuts <laughs> was at. So it's you know, it ain't that much. It's different, but it ain't yeah. that damn much. Replace the nuts and the dick with vagina, but so, the asshole still gonna be there. So it's basically what you're trying to say is it's all the same anyway, right? Don't don't worry did, about. Did you what... hear me say something like that, Brandon? <laughs> I say it's basically the same, but self. <laughs> a place of a, a penis and te- a strodel with a vagina. So, if, so if, in other words, if you was having intercourse, you can't tell what gender the person is. <laughs> you right there at it, right? You know? I get what you're saying. Ray you Charles know? don't need to see; he can feel that, <laughs> right? Thank you for watching. Right, like and if you like the content, do not be afraid to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to share it out. Man, we got videos dropping every single week and we surely appreciate your time. And we can't wait to hear back from you. Leave a comment, leave a like. And guys, make sure you have a good day. God bless you. Take it easy. Ah, so boring. It's so boring. I wish I had a comment with that speech. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh my gosh! Color and look of black icons. Viola Davis. Hmm. Ooh, this is cool. Stanley is a super talented basketball coach and former player. Alright, I'll tell you about some people. Wow! It's Michael Jackson! Does this look like Michael Jackson? Order your coloring book of black icons today. Introducing the coloring book of black icons, a vivid coloring book celebrating famous African American figures from Simone Biles to Michael Jackson. It nice your child imagination from learning about inspiring leaders in history. Each page is a journey through courage, creativity, and chains. Let's color the story that shaped the world.